Welcome back to another episode of Fish in Florida. Today I'm going to be using a Whopper Plopper and live bait to hopefully get on some big bass snakehead. Pretty much anything I can catch, I'm just gonna cover water and hopefully we can get on some big fish today. So yeah, let's get to fishing and hopefully catch a bunch of fish. Oh, that was cool. Fish on, snake, snakehead. Oh, good snakehead. There we go, guys. That's a tank. First fish of the day. Oh boy, he's kind of hooked weird. Come on, oh no. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't snap off. That is crazy lucky. My line is completely wrapped around this whopper plopper. Oh shoot. He just broke the hook. What? Guys, look what happened. Okay, I got one hook here. He just broke the other two hooks off. What the heck? These things are crazy. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought Whopper Plopper hooks were pretty good. Look at this. That treble is completely destroyed. Look at this hook. What the heck? This right here used to be a treble hook. Now it's just a one hook. What the heck? Alright guys, awesome, solid, bullseye snakehead. Guess probably a five pounder. Let's get a release. Here he goes. Awesome snakehead. Let's go. Damn, guys, we lost the Whopper Plopper. Dang it. Alright, guys, so I snapped off my Whopper Plopper. I do have some live bait, though. I'm going to see. There's a bunch of fish that keep blowing up on the surface right here. I'm not sure what they are, but I'm going to try to find out. Oh. All right, they might be little bass. That was, that was pretty fast. I don't want to waste my live bait on these little guys. I was trying to save it in case I saw a really big bass, but I think all the fish blowing up right here are bass. This guy hit right away. Just plopped it right in, and like the second it hit, he was on it. That was pretty cool. Here we go. That's a chunky fish. There's a bunch of fish just blowing up right there. I guess there's a bunch of bait back there in that corner, but chunky little largey. And there he goes. So I'm pretty sure I figured out what's eating over in this little corner. All those little blow ups are probably tiny little bass. Now I'm going to move. There's another corner back here that looks really juicy, and I think. There should be a big fish there. So I'm going to test out the live bait right there and hopefully hook up on a big bass. That's what I'm going for. Got a tiny little jewel cichlid on here. I'm going to flip this out, see if anything wants to eat in this corner. Just a tiny jewel cichlid. I don't know if anything will eat this, but we're going to find out. Oh, I just got hit. Oh, that was sick. I don't know what hit me. But guys, look, I'm using this literally the smallest jewel cichlid. I don't even think fish can see this, but I just got a hit. I was reeling it in. Oh. Dang, it was a Mayan. All right, I don't think there's many big fish back here. I'm gonna try using a Senko in this corner, and then I'm just gonna call it and move to a different spot. Oh, that was sick. Got him, got him, got him. That was so cool. Can't tell what this is. Oh, oh, nice bass, solid bass. Oh my gosh, guys, that was the coolest eat. There we go. That was so sick. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I saw something way back there, like way, way over on the other side. I saw the weeds twitching. I knew there was something back there. Casted way back there into those pads, pulled the Senko right out, and he blew up on it on top water. That was a very cool eat. Awesome fish on the Pisifun Phantom Reel. This reel cast so far, guys. It's insane. I got it directly where I wanted it. 
And there we go, solid, solid bass. There we go, chunky, chunky fish. I will take that all day, that's a good bass. Let's get a release. Alright guys, I'm gonna switch spots now, and yeah. I am currently making my way over to the next spot. So far I've caught three fish, one snakehead, two bass. Hopefully I'll get some more at this next spot. I'm going to be using live bait more. I know a corner where I've seen big fish. I actually had an amazing catch. I'll show you guys that right now. So basically what happened was I, my friend Yasin caught a little bass, a dink, and the wake it was making as he reeled it in was way bigger than it should have been. So I looked under the fish and there was literally a four pounder swimming right under the fish, trying to steal the bait. So I, as soon as he seen got the fish, his fish off the hook, I grabbed his rod, cast back out with a left-handed reel and was able to hook the giant fish that was swimming under his fish. What? Did we what? Yeah, we caught. Uh, we've caught like all over the lake. Oh, there you go. Let's go. Oh, that's a pig. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, I can't reel this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't reel this. All right, let's go. Oh my god. No, no. Bro, that's like. Hey, there's a fish I was after. Oh, <laughs> Left-handed too. Oh my god. I gotta get one right now. That's a pig. Solid bass. That's a nice one. Look how fat it is. Dude, I saw this when you caught your little guy. I saw him following it in. And then like my third cast after that, I got him. Bro, and left hand Dude, too. It was, yeah, it was so hard getting him in. I just walked backwards because I couldn't reel with it. All right, let's get a release. Oh, there he goes. So yeah, that was a really awesome catch. But that's the exact spot I'm going to with live bait now. And hopefully I'll get a big fish there. So see you guys when I make it to the spot. All right, guys, this is where I caught that monster bass. I'm going to see if I can't hook up on another fish. I know there, were, I saw two giant bass. I think I caught the smaller of the two, but there were two really big ones right around here. And I'm going to see if I can't hook up. Oh, there's a fish see how big it is feels pretty good oh it was just a little guy he was running fast All right, I'm gonna throw out oh there's a fish it was crazy that's pulling my bait out of the water tiny little bass all right guys gonna cast out some live bait hopefully this will do the trick just gonna leave my bill open and then keep fishing with the Senko. Oh, I might have a fish. That was fast. Oh, I might have a good fish. Nope, little bass. That was fast though, right away. And I still got my little jewel cichlid. All right, another bass, I'll take that. Another tiny little bass. Let's get a release. Oh my God, he slapped me. There he goes. That was cool. Oh my gosh. This guy was just following it. Oh my gosh. That was so cool. I was just twitching this, trying to bring it in fast so I could go check on my Y bait. And this guy was just following it all the way up. I stopped it. He sucked it up. And then I just reeled into it. See ya, bud. There he goes. Alright, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty dark right now. And I'm going to call it a day. Hope y'all enjoyed this short little fishing mission. I had about an hour and a half. But I did get on some decent fish. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time.
on the next episode of Fishing Forward.